Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX Select Director's Cut Card. Chow Help Part 8. Um Select. It was 6 in the morning. Now it is 7.17 Select in the morning. Character. Doesn't mean I'm any more or less tired. I'm on my new sleep schedule, but yeah, it's been a rough morning so far. I've been recording and stuff for an hour and 20 minutes now. Or getting everything ready. Just my the whole morning so far has been about recording. And yeah, this. So our, we're gonna go with Gamma. Um, now this might be another big situation where I'm gonna have to record with Sonic, in which it is. I'm not as upset with it as I was with Big, just because I felt like a lot of people actually wanted Big, and nobody got Gamma. Oh yeah, that's the thing, he's a robot, he won't go in water, he'll float. Anyway, um, yeah, I got the swallows again. And eventually I'll show you guys every different animal. Um, here's our chow. Can't really see him in Gamma's hands, but we're gonna name him now. Um, I think I said neutral swim fly in the other, in the poll. I didn't mean that, I meant neutral fly swim. We're on a completely new section. We're never going to make a neutral swim chow again unless you guys vote for it for a later time. Um, so, I was really not disappointed, but like I was looking for some better names. And so I'm glad I found one out of the ones that I just absolutely love. And um, that is Nathan. I really like that for this chow for some reason. There was also Nate, and I was really considering that too, but for some reason I just like Nathan better. So here's Nathan. Come on. And then... Is he actually going to be like pet? Oh my gosh, he's actually pet by Gamma. Okay. So like... No! You ate my swallow! Alright, um... I just realized I didn't talk at all for a second there. Okay, he's sitting down, so like, I'm gonna go over here. No! He ate my second swallow! For fear of losing another swallow, I'm gonna go to Sonic. Because it took me, like, 15 minutes to get all those swallows. Oh yeah, by the way, I know I showed me getting the otters in Emerald Coast. Another great- er- and I didn't show me getting the swallows here, but, um, a good place to get swallows is Emerald, not Emerald Coast, what am I talking about? A good place to get swallows is, Let's get em. what am I thinking of, is Windy Valley. I just destroy the same, like, the first two monsters over and over and over again. It's a chameleon and then a caterpillar, and... One of the big purple caterpillars that flame, and then one of the invisible ch chameleons. And because we don't have many lives, I just restart. Not restart. Restarting takes lives. I quit the stage and then I just go back in. And I just destroy those two enemies until I get the swallows because there aren't many enemies. Alright, so we have to get Nathan to level 99 with swallows. Two of them. Where is Nathan? Speaking of Nathan. Nathan, where are you? This is the problem, this child likes to hide. I've like attempted to record this three or four times and he just likes to blend in with everything and hide. Come here. I love how he's not even, oh he is level one I guess, and he has like all of his fly parts already. He won't get any more parts from the swallow. This is like a really easy child. Not just like all neutral fly swim chow, I'm just saying this particular chow, Nathan, he's like really easy. When you pet him, he feels it, like every single time, so he'll just stay put. So, yeah, fun for that. It's not very difficult. Yeah, as you see, with the swallows, it goes really fast. They, the swallows have an incredibly high fly rate. They raise it, like, enormously. It's incredible, I love it. No, don't go. Oh good, he's sitting down. Look, look at that. He's sitting down. What a good chow. That other swallow needs to move. Alright, there we go. So, let's see. 
what has been going on in the past five days. I probably should have remade Sarah because, or in the last five days, but I didn't. Whoops, I kept thinking of it, like I thought of it every single day, but then just never really did it. And, um... Today, like, today my day is going to be all about Chow. I normally record the polls in advance. What you see with me working with the Chow, what you see there, like this, this is recorded on the same day it will be uploaded, which is today, Sunday the 17th. Not Sunday. Um, Tuesday the 17th. So, like, here what you see is what you get. The polls I normally record in advance, especially for the second evolution Chow, because, um... I have to make the Chow in advance and get the Chow ready to evolve. Oh, hey, I have five swallows. Cool. Um, I mean, like, I have to get the Chow ready to evolve into its second evolution, so... That's why I record the polls in advance as baby Chow, and then I just post them. And so by the time I actually post the poll, the Chow is already in its second evolution. But then when you actually see me working with it, that's, like, real, I guess. That's happening on the same day as I'm uploading it. I normally record on the same day I upload. Back when I was actually playing the game, the Sonic Adventure DX, and we were playing the stories, some of those, m most of those parts, actually, were recorded in advance. I don't like recording in advance near holidays, though, because then when I upload on a holiday, I have nothing to tell about because the holiday hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I'm like really hungry. I've never been this hungry in the morning before, probably. Well, except for when I was younger, because I normally sleep in until like 9 or 10 and stay up till midnight or 1. And so when I wake up, apparently staying up late ruins your appetite, so I'm like never hungry when I wake up. But right now, I'm hungry. I only got 5 hours of sleep, but I'm hungry. But I have a lot to do. Alright, now I'm trying to gauge time because. Uh, I know last time that I did this, the part was 30 minutes long. No, not 30, 20 minutes long. And, <clears throat> and, let's see. I just completely lost my train of thought for some reason. It was 20 minutes long, and then this part shouldn't take as long, because... I didn't get the animals in this part, and at the very end, we visited the shop, and I spent like three minutes talking about that. So this should be shorter than the last one. Probably not by much, but it will be shorter. <sighs> I'm glad we're onto the fly chow. I like the swim chow better than the fly chow, but I'm glad we're onto the fly chow. <laughs> Just because, you know, now I've like officially made every swim chow, and I feel really good about it. Okay, so he should have a pretty high ranking in fly. I just made a fly chow the other day. I just realized that on my other memory card. I just made a fly chow. Oh, and I'm really, really excited. We're three days away from the new mystery project. And then we'll have this new mystery project and chow running at the same time. The new mystery project will be, like, every other day. Um. Let me think. What should that... I think it's going to be on, like, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Just because Monday, Monday Wednesday, and Fridays, those that's sort of like, you know, the day. <laughs> it's just, like, the most used every other day of the week, so I sort of want it to be, like, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. <clears throat> because Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are overused. I don't know why I keep picking it up too early. I haven't raised a chow in five days. It's interesting doing this every single day, like raising a chow every day, because you have to have dedication. It can get boring or irritating sometimes. <sighs> so, uh, I feel like we just had a holiday besides July 4th, but we haven't. It's just because I've had people over. My best friend came over, and we started talking about, like, when we were really little kids, 
and we found out that we watched all the same, like, toddler shows as toddlers. And so, we started on this whole two-hour-long conversation about, do you remember this episode when this happened? And it was so much fun. And it was, like, the best visit ever. We literally watched, like, all the same little kid shows. Teletubbies, but pretty much everybody watched Teletubbies. Teletubbies was the best, though. That just made me smile when I was little. Um, Boobahs. That was the best show ever. They were just so cute. The Boobahs. I love the intro. I watched the intro the other day just because it's so cute. Um, let's see. Dragon Tales. And then... I think it was called PB and J Otter. And then I watched Zoom once. I don't know if all these shows are local to me or not. I'm, I don't know, but... Those are all the shows I watched as a child. No, I watched uh, Roly Poly Oli and... What's it called? Uh, Cyber Chase. Cyber Chase was awesome. I still watch Cyber Chase. Because that's not even like a little kid's show. That's just plain awesome. Um... I feel like I'm missing one. I watched The Wiggles a lot, but, um, we still have, like, VHS tapes of The Wiggles. I haven't watched them in years, though. I should watch The Wiggly Wiggly, the Wiggly Wiggly Christmas again. That was my favorite one. I've watched that around this time of the year for some reason, because I just watch it at any random time of the year. It didn't have to be Christmas for me to watch that. I like reliving toddlerhood. I want to say childhood, but anytime I say childhood, people are like, you're still a child, and, um, I'm, by child, I mean, like, five, six. Not me. <laughs> I guess I don't mean mind being called a child, but my, I, my idea of a child is not my age. I'm a little too old to be a child. 80! Yeah, that's gone really fast. The swallows always go the fastest. I figured this wouldn't- as soon as I saw how many the swallows gave, I was like, oh, this isn't gonna take long at all. Um... So yeah, here we have Nathan. I'm really excited for you guys to see what the neutral fly chow are, like, gonna look like before they're ready to evolve and... etc. Like, when they actually do evolve, because we're so used to seeing swim chow, so you guys, like, know all that. You know what they're gonna look like, but... It's different. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, they have character chow in this, where they, like, make chow after characters. They have a Sonic chow, and it looks pretty much like Sonic. They have a Shadow chow. Wait, do they have a Shadow chow? Yeah, I just don't think they named it the Shadow chow. But they still have it. Um, maybe Shadow wasn't even invented when this game came out, but they named it Shadow chow in the second game. And then the next chow we're gonna be making, like, right after this one, it's called the Knight's chow. It actually looks like Knight's. It's really cool. So yeah, you guys are gonna have to give me some clever suggestions for that, because I don't want to just name it Knights. Although that's what I'd normally do when I'm just playing with me, because, you know, that's his name, so... Level 92. I actually made a Sonic Chow the other day, but... I, I went to the black market and I found a pink egg. And I was gonna make a Sonic Chow from the beginning, that was like my original plan, and then I found the pink egg, and I'm thinking... Oh my gosh, this has to happen. I have to see the pink Sonic Chow. That's gonna be awesome. Just because I thought it'd be hilarious, and... Um, my brother always names his Sonic Chow Sonicu, because, like, that's his Japanese name or something, I don't know. Um, and so I named him Pinku, P-I-N-K-K-U, and it's... he's really awesome. And geez, this guy has a fly high rate fly high, high fly rate, and he can swim too, so that's good, um, I'll have to teach him to walk, that's for sure, I want all my child to learn how to walk, if you're gonna teach a child another skill before they're ready to evolve, what you might want to do is, right before, or right after they evolve, when they're not ready to change into their second evolution yet, get them up in that skill, because they won't change, and then when you're ready, or, and then when they are ready, oh, he went to sleep. Then when they are ready, uh, you can continue doing that, and or you can continue doing what you were originally going to do, and, and nothing will have changed. 
So, like, I'll get him maybe 10 levels and run, and he won't have turned into a neutral fly run chow. He'll still be just a neutral fly chow. So, yeah, um, while he's sleeping, I'm gonna go into the black market, because... I haven't been there in a while. Eventually, I should probably buy some of these colored eggs to show you what they look like. Shiny white egg. I can't wait till we get to Hero and Dark Chow. You feed him these. Um, there's the Chow fruit. Cubicle fruit. I called it a square fruit. See, in the in the sequel to this game, they're all they're called triangle fruit, circle fruit, and square fruit. But here, they're all like technical. It's like triangle fruit, circle fruit because they didn't have a name for it, and then cubicle fruit. Yeah, I like the sequel better. I like- I definitely like the sequel better than this game. Which is hard to say because I really love both of them, but... I just grew up with the sequel and I didn't get this se until several years after. So I would all- that was the only game we had as kids, except we had Genesis games and the Genesis, but we didn't have- this was like the first game that we had that wasn't Genesis, and so we would always play this game. Always. So yeah, that is Sonic Adventure The X Director's Cut, Chow Help Part 8, Neutral Fly Swim Chow, Part 1. Um, thank you guys for watching. Tune in in three days on July 20th for our new mystery project, which you guys will find out on July 20th. So I'll see you guys later, have a great day, and yeah, bye.